and good morning to all of you. Uh, you know, uh, thank you for inviting me to you know sh share a few of my thoughts. I'll probably take about ten minutes uh, to set the you know because we have a outstanding set of uh, speakers, so it'll be good to hear from this whole you know diverse group in terms of how do we look at this whole issue. Uh, you know this whole issue of student-led best school. I'm going to I'm going to rephrase the term to a learning you know, focus B school. And one could say both are in some sense will go together, but uh, this whole concept of what do we see ourselves as an institute in terms of as a core? Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody would disagree on this issue that, you know, finally students are core partners in this whole exercise. And structurally, for example, finally student become alumni. And as I am at actually five alumni are gonna be on our board, you know? So to some extent, finally students remain the most important stakeholders. The, the challenging is using this term student led based school. And, uh, uh, and I think probably we have a lot of challenges especially in India, okay? Because when we look at a B-School, we talk about multiple stakeholders. You know, obviously students are stakeholders, faculty are stakeholders, staff and support systems are stakeholders, recruiters are stakeholders. And unfortunately, there's no perfect alignment. Sometimes there are challenges of horizon issues, and I'll first talk about challenges. Why, you know, if you want to create this whole ecosystem where all of us as a stakeholders are aligned to certain goals of creating a great experience for our students, you know. So we use a term transformation learning that how do we ensure students have a transformation learning where students are equal stakeholders. I think the challenge comes in because, as I said, each one looks at this whole elephant in a very different way. And the students come with a variety of experiences. And unfortunately, most of the undergraduate you know, institution in India have not stu prepared students for it. So they come with a whole lot of wide variety of experience. And when they, you tell them something, they don't necessarily believe you. So how do you create this whole ecosystem where you can align, you know, all of us on this? So let me tell you, start with the whole range of challenges. You know, so the one challenge is whole lot of students that are stored placement obsessed. Now, if you're a placement obsessed, where you look at whole MBA experience as an outcome is the first job. Then, you know, the way you look at institute is very different from this whole idea that we are preparing you for a long term. You are a future leaders and entrepreneurs and we're preparing you for a long term, not just for the first job. Now, the, the issue becomes more, gets more complicated because the recruiters also give a very different signals. For example, most of the B schools, you will find almost more than 20% of students get their PPOs based on summer experience. And that summer selection happens practically within first three months. Now, how do you get a student to look at this whole experience if he or she looks at this as saying, I'm focused on a first job, which is based on my summer internship and for which I'm going to get selected in a first three months. 
so i am saying this creates whole lot of tension in everybody so first honestly the whole system is unfair because you know just imagine if somebody is going to select student for a summer internship in the first three months it's honestly has nothing to do with what we do in a b school it's based on the past experiences you know i've come from a you know small town my life experiences are very different and i was using this whole looking at this two year experience at institute to you know develop myself what we talked about transformation learning and here i am supposed to perform in the summer internship interview in the first 3 months so i'm saying that's a whole range of challenges and contradictions second challenge the faculty feels that i'm preparing a student for a long run and since students have a narrow horizon they're going to evaluate me using whole lot of metric which has nothing to do with long term learning and if student evaluation is going to play an important role in a faculty assessment then there is a possibility of whole lot of unholy equilibrium because i as a faculty feel i am being measured on a using very short term measures by a student so i'm saying you know even though in a long run point of view it's very easy to see alignment but in a short run how do you create this whole ecosystem now i don't think any one of us has a silver bullet here or a magic here but i think only way you can do some of this is keep talking about a long run orientation so first you have to create a institute which has very strong values and culture and you keep talking about that from day one and you demonstrate to students that you actually mean it when we talk about this whole long term orientation importance of values and culture structure and processes right so if you are able to ensure that if you do some of those things there is a possibility that you will at least create some amount of you know at least start moving in that direction so the way i look at this is this is a really a long term journey and you will keep working towards it it's always going to remain a challenge and a leadership role will be to manage all this contradictions you know you're dealing with a very unfair system you're dealing with whole lot of students who come from a varied background and most of them don't trust education institution because of their whole experience of undergraduate so i mean we keep talking about let me just talk about one or two things we do so for example we have separated we say when it comes to everything outside academic that be completely student manage and student has their own constitution and outside academic everything is run by students but when it comes to academic we are saying we draw fair amount of boundaries and we say students will play a important role but it's not student led here the faculty will play a important role but with whole lot of checks and balances including student evaluation and i think a lot of dialogues at every stage in terms of how do you create this right alignment and for us we talk about one role model institution which is a stanford where there are no you know there are no invigilators in the exam i mean how do you create a trust at that level where students will are not invigilated we saying will require a whole lot of a different level of maturity among all stakeholders to reach that level 
similarly what we try and do is to have mentors and get alumni to play a very important role so i think creating a strong values and culture using alumni as a partner and doing this conversation you know throughout the journey fully knowing there are whole lot of challenges including the unfairness of the whole system so with that let me stop here because i'm sure you know uh, each one has figured out their own way of handling these issues it'll be interesting to see how various kind of innovations have been done and where in the journey each of this institute is so with that uh, you know let me stop here and would be happy to answer question at any stage during the next part of the session thank you